Hello, in this video I'm going to show how you can use Scatter to create designs like these in a few minutes. To save time on the video, I have pre-drawn my shapes. All of the designs will be using this large circle, but I will get a different look by using these different shapes and applying them to this path. As I need more than one circle, I'm just going to duplicate it a few times. I'll just drag one large circle to the side. I'm going to start with the solid small circle. Now this small circle must be the top object and I'm not sure so I'll just click on the icon and raise it to the top to make sure. Then I'll hold down the shift key and select the large circle. When they're both selected I'll open extensions, generate from path, scatter. Now I've got some more options. I've ticked the top two boxes at the moment. All the other settings are on zero. Original pattern will be, I've got copied. I might change it to moved. By changing it to moved, this small circle will become part of the design. As I don't plan on using it again, I might as well use it. Now I'll just tick on live preview. Okay, I can see I've got a scallop circle. But that wasn't the look I had in mind. It's perfectly fine to use, but it's not what I wanted. So what I might do is change the space between the copies so these circles are a little bit closer. Now this is a little bit of trial and error. I only want it to move a little bit, so I'm going to start with a low number. So I'll just type in minus 5, then press enter. And I like the look of that better. So when I'm happy with it, I just tick on apply. Now this box, I'm not going to close it. I'll leave it there because I need it for the other projects. And it will just save me some time. Now let's move back to this project. I'll click on the circles. And I can see I've got a group of 24 objects. As it's a group, I must ungroup before I can do anything else. So I just click on the icon for ungroup. I can see now that I've got a lot of small circles. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the large circle I started with. While they're all selected, I'll go path, union. There's one design finished. So let's move to the next one. I'll use the large circle again. And this time I'm going to use the open circle. I'll raise it to the top to make sure it's the top object. Select the large circle. Scatter's already open. I'm just going to tick on live preview to see how it looks. Now looking at my design, it looks just fine. But I would actually like these small circles to be closer to the center. To achieve that, I'm going to change normal offset. Now to me, I would need a minus number, but after using scatter for quite a while, I found out I actually need a positive number. So I might just enter the number 10. Press enter on the keyboard. Right, here's an example of when things go wrong. It didn't work. Doesn't happen often, but I have had it happen before. What I do in this case is just close it then come up to extensions generate from path, scatter, and it will open with the same settings. Then I just tick on live preview and it works. You can see that these circles have moved closer to the center, but they're now too far in. So I'll change this setting again. I might just try five. Press enter. That's what I was looking for. So when I'm happy with the design, I click on apply. Select all the small circles, ungroup them, hold down the shift key, select the large circle, apply path union. There's the second design. So now we'll move on to the third design. Use a large circle again. I'm going to use this same triangle to get two different looks. So I'll just duplicate it. Make sure it's the top object. Select the large circle. 
I'm just going to tick live preview then I can start changing settings. Now I can quite clearly see that the triangles are too far into the center. So I want them to extend out. As I want them to move out I need to change normal offset to a negative number. So I might just try minus 10. Hit enter. There we go. So if you use a minus number your small shape will move out from the center and the spacing actually looks okay so when I finish making changes click on apply select the small triangles ungroup select the large circle go path union so now we've got three designs we've only got one more to go triangle selected so I'll select the circle I'm just going to tick the box live preview now you can see here I've got the shape I've just had but I want these triangles to give a different look and all I have to do is tick this box pattern is vertical. You can see the triangles are now a different direction and the too far out from the circle. So that means I need to move them in so offset needs to be changed. Might just try zero. Press enter zero worked. So I'll just click on apply I can close it because I've now finished. I'll select the triangles, ungroup, select the large circle, apply path, union. And there we have it in a couple of minutes you can have quite a few different designs. So if you haven't tried scatter to help create designs for your cutter, open Inkscape and start experimenting. You'll be surprised how many different looks you can achieve from the two same shapes just by changing space between copies and normal offset. Have fun!